Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute. When the demon came out, the man who had been mute spoke, and the crowd was amazed. But some people said, it's by Beelzebul, the prince of demons, that he is driving out demons. And others tested Jesus by asking him for a sign from heaven. <laughs> but Jesus knew their thoughts, and he said to them, any kingdom divided against itself cannot stand, and any house divided against itself will fall. If Satan is divided against himself, how can his kingdom stand? I say this because you say that I'm driving out demons by Beelzebul. Well, if I drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your followers drive out demons? Let them be your judges. But if I drive out demons by the finger of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his house, his possessions are safe. But when someone stronger attacks and overpowers him, he takes away the armor in which he has trusted and divides up the plunder. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an impure spirit comes out of a person, it wanders through dry places looking for rest, and when it finds none, then it says, I will return to the house I left. When it arrives, it finds the house all swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and takes seven more other spirits, more evil than itself, and they go in and live there. And so the final condition of the person is worse than the first condition. As Jesus was saying these things, a woman in the crowd called out, Blessed is the one who gave birth to you and who nursed you. Jesus said, Blessed rather is the one who hears the word of God and obeys it. And that's one small part of God's big story.